Hello there and welcome to a series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at modelling with series so we can answer questions from exercise 3i. So we're going to be moving back to arithmetic series and geometric series within the context of a question. So let's have a go at the first one. Bruce starts a new company. He estimates that in year one his profits will be £20,000. And he predicts that his profits will increase by 5000 per year from that year onwards. He then models that once his annual profits are 100,000, they will remain constant. <clears throat> Calculate the profit for Bruce's business in the first 20 years. So we'll need to find out when his profits exceed or get to 100,000, uh, since the pattern is going to change at that point. So in this case here we need to form an arithmetic series, it's going up by the same amount each time, that's how we know it's an arithmetic series. If the scale factor or the ratio between the terms was constant each time, then we would know it's a geometric series. But here the increase is the same each time, so it is, um, so it is an arithmetic series. The difference is 5,000 each time, and we want to find the term that will give us 100,000. If it's after 20, then that will be fine because we can then just use the formula. If it's before 20, we'll have to use the summation formula up until that value and then add on how many hundred thousands we've got left. <clears throat> so remember the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic series looks like this. So let's substitute it in and we don't know what n is. So after 17 years, um, Bruce will have got to the £100,000 mark and his profits will therefore be 100000 from there onwards. So what we'll have to do is we can use the arithmetic series summation formula up until 17 and then we'll just have to add on the years 18, 19 and 20 separately for an extra 300,000. The reason we have to do that is because the pattern changes after 17 years. So now substituting in n equals 17 into the arithmetic progression formula, and we get, it uh, looks like 1,020,000, plus on the 300,000 from the extra years, and we get 100, 1,320,000 pounds. Okay. Part B states a reason why this model might not be suitable. Uh, a reason, a possible reason would be that it is unlikely that Bruce's profits will increase by the exact same amount every year. Okay, so we've got a new part of the question now. Bruce's financial advisor says it is more likely that his profits will increase by 5% per year. Using this model instead, calculate the profits that Bruce will make in the first 20 years. So in this case here, it's a geometric progression ratio. So the ratio this time is 1.05. That's the decimal multiplier for a 5% increase. And we want to work out the summation for 20 years. So in this case, we need to use the geometric summation formula. So substituting all the values into this formula, and we get um, 661,319. Okay, different question now. A piece of paper is folded repeatedly. The thickness of the sheet is 0.5 millimeters. Work out the thickness after four folds. Okay, so what's going to happen to the amount of folds here? Well, the, the amount of um, pieces of paper, if you fold it each time, are going to double each time. So in part A, we have a starting value of A equals 0.5. We have a common ratio of 2. Because when we fold in half, we double the amounts of uh, layers that we've got in our sheet of paper. So in this case here, after four folds, um, if we include the start width, then after four folds, um, it's going to be the fifth value in the sequence. Okay, so after... Um, no folds, um, it's going to be 0 0.5, so we need a value of 5 in there. So in this case here we get 8, so it's 8 millimetres thick after 4 folds. After 20 folds, however, we now need an n value of 20, 
of 21, I think. Yeah, so it's going to be 21 as your value for n. So it's going to be 21 minus 1 gives you 20. So we're going to double it 20 times. And now all of a sudden we've got a piece of paper that is 524,288 meters, millimeters thick. State one reason why this model might be unrealistic. Well, the reason is because this is 524 meters and that ain't likely at all. Um, it is not possible to fold a piece of paper certainly um, beyond a certain point so the model is unrealistic. Okay. All right then, your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try this one out. Okay, and so James decides to ha save some money over a six-week holiday. Starts with 1p, it goes up to 2p on the second day. So starting value 1, common difference each time of 1. How many? Uh, how much will he save after 42 days? So n is 42. So in this case here, we're going to use the arithmetic summation formula. So it's going to be 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d. So in this case here, it's going to be 42 divided by 2 times by 2 plus 41 lots of 1. So in this case here, it's going to be 21 times by 43. And what you'll have to do then is grab your calculator and calculate it. So 43 times 21, and that gives you 903 or in other words, £9 and 3p. Not very much, James, unfortunately. Uh, if he carried on, how long would it be before he saved £100? Now, remember, £100 will be 10,000 pence. So we'll have to work with 10,000 as our summation answer. So Sn is equal to 10,000 which is going to be equal to n over 2 times 2 plus n minus 1 lots of 1. Now we've got an equation to solve here. n over 2 times by, uh, expand the brackets, we get n plus 1 is equal to 10,000. Uh, double both sides, we get 20,000 equals n squared plus n. And now we've got to solve n squared plus n minus 20,000. And in this case, grab your calculator. And so once you've put it into the um, quadratic formula solver, we get n is equal to 140.9. Uh, that's the positive solution anyway, which is the only one we're really looking for. So in this case here, it's going to be n equals 141 days. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to this question here. Then there were lots of questions in this exercise here. Lots of challenging questions, lots of exam style questions as well. So have plenty of practice on those. Persevere through the difficult ones. Ask a teacher for help if you need any. And thanks for watching.